Physics Equations uh, and Units Practice number four. Standard format, extract, find your formula, convert if you need to, substitute in, solve it, round it, put your correct units at the end. Same format every single time. An elephant, an elephant, or an elephant foot exerts a force of 3,000 newtons. So force equals 3,000 newtons. When it stands on the ground, okay, luckily it's not a flying elephant, right? The surface area of each foot is, so surface area is 2.5 meters squared, okay? Calculate the pressure. Okay, an elephant presses down on the ground. Ah, an elephant's got four feet. I never realized an elephant's got four feet. So, you find the formula. Pressure equals force in newtons divided by area in meters squared. Okay, so luckily we've got force in newtons, we've got meters squared. We need to find the pressure, and pressure is in pascals. Substitute in. Uh, force is 3,000. Area, all oh, right, now I've got a bit of a problem with the area because if one foot is 2.5 meters squared, that sounds very big. Surface area of each foot is two and a half meters. That sounds huge, big feet. Uh, and I've got four of them. That means the area that's actually touching the ground will be 2.5 times four, which will be 10. So that's divided by 10 meters squared which equals 300 pascals. A car traveling at 10 meters per second. So that's speed or velocity, right? At 10 meters per second, time 400 seconds, calculate the distance, right? So find my formula. Distance equals speed times time. Distance in meters, speed in meters per second, time in seconds. So the speed is 10 multiplied by 400 seconds equals 4,000 meters. Calculate the acceleration. So we need acceleration, because that's what we're calculating. When it increases in its velocity, so that's because it's got two velocities there. I reckon that's change in velocity. And then we've got time in seconds. So if we've got a change in velocity, right, 3 to 13, that is going to be 10 meters per second. Okay, let's find our equation. Acceleration equals change in velocity divided by time taken to change. And acceleration is meters per second squared. Okay, change color and board of that color now. Let's go for a bit of that color. Acceleration equals 13 take away 3, so we've got 10, which is the change in velocity, divided by the time taken for the change to happen. 5, 10 divided by 5 is 2 meters per second squared. A football of mass 0.85 kilograms. So we've got mass, and then we've got it at 0.8 kilograms. Acceleration. So we've got an acceleration of 2.3 meters per second squared. What is the resultant force? And resultant force measured in newtons. So we look through, find our equation, and we've got resultant force equals mass times acceleration. Newtons, kilograms, meters per second squared so the resultant force we go after that mass is 0 0.8 multiplied by the acceleration of 2.3 equals 
1.84 units of force newtons. A sound wave. Okay, so a sound wave has a frequency, frequency of 350 hertz, and a wavelength. Okay, so it says length on it, so therefore it must be in meters, so it's two meters. Calculate the time period of the above wave. Okay, um, so what we've got to do there is initially what I thought was I thought wave speed equals frequency times wavelength. Okay, but they're not after that, they're after the time period. So what they're actually doing here is they're actually trying to catch us out a little bit. Calculate the time period. So the time period equals 1 over the frequency. Okay, frequency is in hertz. So that is 1 over 350. So we actually don't even need that for this question. That is 0 0.0029 seconds. Okay, it's actually trying to catch us out a little bit there. Okay. Right, so that is then the end of the uh, number four equations. Right, what you need to do now is you need to remember, remember the steps one to seven. Okay, learn them, think about them, do the same thing every single time.